doing the standard of care doesn't mean you're doing the best thing for your patient. Let me explain. So the standard of care typically is described as uh, care that when someone analyzes it would say that most people who are similarly trained would do the same thing, okay? But if you think about this with a little bit of, of thought, what it's saying is, is that the standard of care is the middle of the bell curve. It's what most people in that situation would do. So the problem with that is the middle of the bell curve is, is, is not typically where any of us want to be. If the middle of the bell curve is a solid 50 on your exam, who wants a 50 on your exam? We want A's. We want to be in the top 90 percentile, right? We want to be 90 or better, right? We want A's. Well, that's not the standard of care. The standard of care is in the middle. It says most people would do this, right? What we want to know is what's the best treatment option for people. And that requires a little bit more effort, doesn't it? It requires us to read our journals. It requires us to go out and do research. It requires us to go to trade shows and, and listen to lecturers talk about the advantages and the and the evolution of our industry because it is changing so rapidly, especially in dental implants. If you can't go a week without something new being invented or coming up, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing how much evolution is occurring during our lifetime in dental implants. It's just a wonderful thing and extremely excited to be able to watch and participate in this evolution because it's moving so quickly. So this is the thing that I tell people is that you can't say, well, the standard of care, if you go to the standard of care, let's, for instance, let's say you go to the literature and you pull up a paper that was done in um, 2010 and you say, well, this, was the, this is what the standard of care was in 2010. You do know that fully guided type four guides weren't available in 2010. So let's say the topic of the conversation was guided versus non-guided, and they did a systematic review in 2010. The guided solution that they had in 2010 does not look like the guided solution that was invented in 2017. Seven years later, when we had the ability to do process-driven protocols starting from the end and backing into the surgical plan, and then having a guide that would facilitate a implant placement within 200 microns of that said plan is completely different than the, than, than the systematic review from 2010 because they didn't have that technology. So if they didn't have the technology and the conclusion is that the free-headed and guided, maybe, maybe the conclusion in that report was that they're comparable. Well, that's just nonsense. And you can't look at that and say, well, this is a systematic review. It's, it's the highest level of, of data that we have in the industry. Well, you could say that, but the problem is it's, it's obsolete. That, that data is obsolete. And so you have to be constantly thinking about where are we today with our abilities to service our patients and what do we need to be doing today? Not because the mass the masses are doing it, but we need to take the lead and do what's right by the patient so that the patient has the best solution with the, with the, with the least amount of effort, with the least amount of money, with the least amount of pain and the longest longevity. That's our goal. So we must be analyzing everything that comes across our desk, everything that we see. We must be driving towards a standard of care that is not the bell curve. We are the bell curve collectively, and we must drive that from the middle to the upper end. We have to drive it to the upper end. So don't just settle for mediocrity. Always continue to learn, always, each and every one of us, and keep driving for that excellence that it doesn't exist in the middle of the bell curve. It exists at the end of the bell curve, at the high end. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, The Smile Engineer. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe for more.